There are new worries now about methane killing marine life in the Gulf after BP recaps its well. A federal judge refuses to delay ruling on the Gulf drilling ban while the government appeals. And Europe worries about natural gas supplies from Russia. From the Energy News Center in Washington, D.C., this is the Energy Report with Susan McGinnis. Good afternoon. I'm Susan McGinnis. Thanks for joining us for the Energy Report. The cap is back in place over the gushing oil well at the bottom of the Gulf. After oil gushed freely for 11 hours at up to 104,000 gallons an hour, BP managed to get its containment cap back over the broken well. Engineers temporarily removed the cap when an underwater robot bumped a vent, creating a potential safety hazard. Scientists are now worried about vast amounts of natural gas contained and crude escaping from the blown well. They say the gas could pose a serious threat to marine life by creating dead zones where oxygen is so depleted that nothing lives. The U.S. Geological Survey flow team estimates that at least 4.5 billion cubic feet of natural gas and possibly nearly twice that amount have leaked since April 20th. The judge who overturned the moratorium on deep water drilling in the Gulf has refused to delay the ruling while the government appeals. Meantime, the government says Interior Secretary Ken Salazar has instructed employees to not take any action to enforce the moratorium. But Salazar has said he is working on a new moratorium, one that could allow some deep water operations to continue. Salazar told a Senate hearing today that he still believes the moratorium is right, and he told Democrat Mark Udall of Colorado that the moratorium has been useful. We are in a dynamic to come in on the ultimate kill on the Maconda well. Uh, the subsea uh, tests have actually occurred. And so there is a tremendous learning uh, that is actually occurring as we deal with uh, this dynamic crisis, which in my view is uh, further evidence of the need to have uh, this moratorium in place. The moratorium halted drilling at 33 exploratory wells. Salazar has said his revised order could allow drilling in areas where reserves and risks are known, along with criteria for when the ban would be lifted. BP is going ahead with plans to drill off the coast of Alaska. The company is dodging a moratorium on offshore drilling in the Arctic by placing their operation on a man-made island three miles off the coast. Because of that, regulators granted the project onshore status. Scientists are worried about a replay of the disaster in the Gulf because the Liberty Project involves a method of drilling called extended reach that experts say is more prone to the types of gas kicks that triggered the explosion on the deep water horizon. BP plans to drill two miles under the sea, then six to eight miles horizontally to reach what's believed to be a 100 million barrel reservoir of oil under federal waters. In 2007, MMS opted not to do its own independent analysis of the environmental impact of the project. Instead, the agency allowed BP to write its own and environmental review. The natural gas tap to Belarus is open again, but supplies to the rest of Europe may be in danger. Russia's Gazprom says it's resumed supplies to Belarus after it paid a near $200 million bill, but now the ex-Soviet neighbor is threatening to stop the transit of gas onto other European countries unless Moscow settles its own debts. The country claims Moscow still owes them $260 million for gas that went through Belarus to Europe. Gazprom says it's already paid those fees in line with the contract but will not give in to higher fees claimed by Belarus. A similar dispute last year with Ukraine cut off heating to millions in the middle of winter. About 80 percent of Russian gas exported to Europe goes through Ukraine, where the rest is uh, carried via Belarus pipelines. Here's a look now at some energy goings on around the Beltway tomorrow. At noon, MIT scientists unveil a report and hold a talk at the National Press Club on the future of natural gas. That's the Energy Report. We'll see you again tomorrow with the latest energy news. For any suggestions or comments about our programming on Clean Skies News, we'd like to hear from you. You can email us at contact at cleanskies.com. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. From all of us here in the Energy News Center, have a good day.